Hello guys. I was able to get out and just do a little metal detecting today here at, here at the park and uh, I've been digging up clad. I found a I found a clad uh, coin spill. I, I didn't think I was ever gonna stop digging coins out. I was sort of getting sick of it, but uh, I must have got eight eight uh, coins out of there, nickel, dimes, pennies. But I thought I'd show you guys this. I uh, I got my first wheat penny of the year. It's a 1941D. Hang on, I'll get you a close up. There it is. First wheat penny of the year. 1941D. Wheat penny. On to the next, guys. Hey, guys. Won't you see the signal I'm getting here? It's jumping all the way up to 1246, 1245, 1246. I think I'm going to set the tripod up and dig it. It's uh, showing to be about 10 and 8 to 10 inches deep. It's bouncing back and forth. So I'm going to see what we got here. This could be something good. Get back to you when I dig her up. Okay, guys, here's where I had that good signal. I'm going to dig her up and see what we got here. It's grass, but we'll fix it back the best we can. Whoa, I see silver guys, holy moly, I don't believe it, it's a silver rosy. Guys, I got myself a silver rosy, that thing was down about 10 inches, I'll tell you what, let me get my magnifying glass out, I'll, uh, I'll see what the date is on that, boy that's nice. Oh, it's a 1950. It's a 1950 Rosie. And I don't see a mint mark on it, so it must be a Philadelphia. 1950 Philadelphia Roosevelt dime. I'm going to cover this hole. Get you guys a close up of that. Yee ha! There we go, I think that's better. 1951 Roosevelt time. No mint mark. Down in the ground about 10 inches. On to the next. Down about 8 inches. I found a 1976 Canadian penny. Down about 8 inches. 1976 Canadian, Canadian penny. penny. Seventy-six 
Canadian penny. On to the next. Hey guys, I don't know what this thing here is, but it was showing to be a quarter down about three inches, so I just figured it was a clad quarter. I was going to pick a quarter up real quick, and well, I got down about three inches, and uh, I had didn't hit it yet, so down about seven inches. Uh, I got this stainless steel thingy here. I have no idea what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just stainless steel. I don't believe that could be silver. I don't know what it would be if it was silver, so I'm assuming it's just stainless steel. On to the next. Whoa, I found something. Down about six inches. Yeah, it's probably a clad dime or a copper penny. Dig it up and see Guys, what it got. is muddy out here. All that was was a just a copper memorial. I'm about ready to call her quits here today. Going on a group hunt tomorrow. I want to get this thing back home, get the battery charged on it. I just got one battery. Hey guys, it's time to pack her up. About a three hour hunt this afternoon. Sorry to get a little bit late. Like I say, we'll get home and charge that E-Track up. If it's not raining in the morning, like they say it might be, I'm gonna go on a group hunt, maybe. Uh, trying to get used to that E-Track again. You know, I just got the thing back in October last year and I didn't get a chance to use it too much. Uh, I'm not as good at it as a lot of, the, a lot of other guys out there making videos, but uh, hey, I try. Uh, here's my finds. Get my magnifying glass here. We'll get a close up of the good ones. And we got a we got it here is a 1950 plain, no mint mark, Roosevelt dime, a 1941D wheat penny, and then that's a 1976 uh, Canadian penny. I got a pile of uh, clad and copper pennies there, all mixed up. I got a. One nickel. I thought I found more than one nickel, but I guess I just found one nickel, and looks like uh, looks like I got six six dimes there, six clad dimes, and then I got this stainless steel piece, which was coming up as a silver quarter, half a dollar. So uh, I don't know exactly what that is. And then there's my junk. First hunt of uh, first hunt of uh, 2011. There's my first silver. And a 1950 Rosie. And there's my first wheat penny, 1941 D wheat penny. Uh, see you guys later. Hey guys. You think about all this snow, huh? Good old snow.